Hey, it's James Raby. We have to say something here, but I don't want to say much. Thanks for listening to the Y105 FM Early Morning Show Radio On Demand Podcast. Love you. This station, the boss on Y105 FM's Early Morning Show with me, James Raby. And it's time for the smile of the day. And the Tamside Metropolitan Borough Newspaper says Santa recently saved a life during a holiday party. Yeah. Uh, 81-year-old Tom Webster was at the party when he collapsed and had a heart attack. John Gilmore was playing Santa, one of Santa's helpers. He is a former nurse and first responder. He did CPR, brought Tom back to life. Santa says, I, I was, I've given CPR before, but this is the first time dressed as Santa. And, uh, I just, I just, I can't imagine what that would be like to come to. It's like, oh, Santa Claus? This is Y105 FM's early morning show. What a blessing that guy is. To all riders and future riders. We're doing two-hour delays this morning. You can check Y105 FM's app for all of them. We're talking like St. Charles and Pine Island and Spring Grove and Sturtville. Two hours late this morning. Lots of that. It is slippery, so please take your time driving. You are listening to Y105 FM's early morning show, the celebrity edition of Rochester's Christmas Station Friday. Hi, I'm James J.B. So excited to have Jennifer Hudson here talking about how she really loves decorating for Christmas. The day after Halloween, that is when my holiday season starts. Uh -huh. So like the next day after Halloween, like I was embarrassed, so I ain't gonna lie. My whole yard was lit up. Like it's like a holiday forest full of lights in my yard, like the day after Halloween. Even the O'Hare Airport, the people who decorate O'Hare Airport. Y'all remember the movie Home Alone? Okay, remember that, that Christmas decoration as you go up the hallway, he running, trying to get to the plane. Okay, the same people who decorated that decorates my house. Wow. So for the holo for the, for, um, Christmas. Christmas. Uh -huh. And so it's like four cranes outside of the house and they're putting up like, it took them four days to do it this year. Jennifer Hudson, everybody, thank you very much for being here today. Now, Kate McKinnon, come on out here and tell us your advice for Christmas parties. Uh, just go ahead, grab the microphone and start on talking there. You know, for me, my advice for myself is you do, you do three sips of whatever you're sipping mm -hmm. and then you stop because for me, three sips is as much as I can take without Doing something, if Beyonce comes on, yeah. that I will regret. Ah, <laughs> yes, yes. That I would not want to have filmed. So that's my limit for myself. That's pretty good. Three sips is a good idea. Thank you very much, everybody. Kate McKinnon from SNL. Woo! This is the Y105 FM Early Morning Show, Celebrity Christmas Show. Uh, more are coming, including Jeff Foxworthy doing some stand-up for us. Win tickets to the trans We are playing Christmas music that's both festive and nice. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. This is Rochester's Christmas Station. Hi, I'm James Raby on the Y105 FM Early Morning Show. And we are about to delve into, you and I, and a tradition, an annual tradition. Once I found this clip of Owen Wilson explaining how he pranked Woody Harrelson, I knew it had to be a part of a yearly show. And today, we have Owen Wilson in here to explain it again, how he pranked Woody Harrelson at Christmas on Y105 FM's early morning show, The Celebrity Christmas I had to special. go get something Christmas morning before I went out to my house. And you were saying, oh, just hang around for a little bit. And I was like, well, I got to get going. No, come on, stay. And then I had an idea, and I excused myself, and I went out like I was going to my car and ran around the house to Woody and Laura's bedroom, into the closet, and went into Woody's closet and just grabbed some stuff and put it in a bag and then ran back around and then came in. I was like, I got a Christmas present for you. And you were like, what? Dude, I didn't even get you anything. I go, it's not about that. I just wanted to get you something. And <laughs> okay, I got to take a quick break and say, yeah, roads are slippery. There are plenty of schools that are delayed. You can check all of those on the Y105 FM app. But right now... You can slow down a little bit and enjoy part two on Y105 FM. Pulls out a sweater, and I said, now, I wasn't sure about your size. You might want to try it on. He puts it on. It's like this. It's perfect. And then when he put the shoes on, he was literally jumping like a kid going, they fit perfect. Now you're almost in tears. Like, I, I can't believe you got me all this. And you put on a shirt, and this one doesn't even look very clean. You're like, now, dude, this looks familiar. He took like 22 items before I got one. Yeah. <laughs> it is just such a great prank. It is Y105 FM's early morning show. You think we got some snow? Well, wait till you hear the double digits, the double digits up north. 
in the Y105 FM Early Morning Show News Minute next. Hey, here's a holiday gift from Bed Bath & Beyond. A last chance to win tickets to see Trans-Siberian Orchestra on the 23rd. That's a Friday at 7.30 p.m. at the XL Energy Center. It's Y105 FM's Early Morning Show. Winning those... Going to the show, that's a great way to kick off the Christmas weekend, right? Here on Rochester's Christmas Station, it's the celebrity edition of the Christmas show on Friday. So we got Julie Louis Dreyfus here, and uh, she she had a run-in with Lady Gaga in Paris. What was the story, and how is it Christmassy? And uh, out comes Lady Gaga, <laughs> yeah, wearing a Christmas tree on her head, oh, that's, and, oh, these, and these railroad railroad like tracks his shoes or something now, like that. Now, let me ask you, did it look yes. anything like this? Yes, look. It did. Was it yeah. Was it at least Christmas time? It was going to be Christmas. <laughs> okay. <And laughs> it was going to be Christmas, but every, like, she was staying at the same hotel, obviously, and every day she would come out in different outfits. Like, like this. Like, like that. Look at that. And, she, and, and what, what, can I just say something? We, um, um, Look at that. And she and she came walking down the stairs like this. Very serious. Well, you have to when you're well, you wearing one of those. Yeah, you because can't. Otherwise, Mona Lisa's face will get withdrawn and it will look weird. Yeah. And my, uh, Anna Klumski, who's on our show, has a, a beautiful baby. And, 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 and she was out there with the stroller and the baby. And... and and Lady Gaga comes down the stairs, and she sees the baby, and she looks at her just like this. She goes, divine. <laughs> <laughs> Julia Louis-Dreyfus, thank you for coming in today. You are awesome. It is Rochester's Christmas Station. We're doing a celebrity edition. Do it every single year, of course. Piles of celebrity. Can't wait to get in. Like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he's here. You're going to sing us a Christmas carol. So don't be shy. Just step up to the microphone and go ahead. Better watch out. Better not cry. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. Dwanta Claus is coming <laughs> to town. Dwanta? Uh, he sees you when you're sleeping. That's that's creepy. That sounds creepy, guys. I can't sing that part. All right, well, well, you, you take off. I know you got work to do. We got the helicopter just down the street for you. That's awesome you came in. Thank you very much. Dwayne Johnson singing about <laughs> Dwanta Christmas. Dwanta Claus. That's hilarious. It's Y105 FM's early morning show. The celebrity edition continues, but we got to kick off 105 minutes of commercial free music, Christmas music, with the 8 a.m. All Music Hour next on Y105 FM. Put Ed Sheeran under your Christmas tree. Pew! Flown by. It's the celebrity edition of the Y105 FM early morning show Friday Extravaganza on Rochester's Christmas Station. Now, please welcome to the studio Amy Poehler. Glad to have you here, Amy. It's awesome. Sit on down and uh, tell me, you're trying to teach your kids that Christmas is more than just gifts, huh? I'm trying to instill in them an idea of like being thankful, obviously, for what you have and being of service. And so I'm talking to them a lot about during this time, a lot of people don't have a lot of things and they should be very thankful for what they have. And they're doing this kind of funny, fake thing where they're being very generous and wanting to give away a lot of their toys to children who don't have them. And I'm like, that's really nice. And then they say, well, because then it will clear a lot of space. <laughs> For the new, for the new things that we expect. Oh, Amy, that's so crazy. So, have you had any evidence that your thoughts are at all working? My youngest guy, Abel, who's four, they went around the room uh, in his classroom to say what they were thankful for for Thanksgiving, and everybody said, "My parents and my family and my brother and sister." And Abel said, "For all of the toys that I have." <laughs> And I just was like, who the kid is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's Amy Poehler. Thank you for stopping in for the Christmas Spectacular, the celebrity edition of the Y105 FM Early Morning Show on Rochester's Christmas Station. Are you looking for ways to manage your money wherever life takes you? Morning Show. My name is James Raby, and it's time for our final Raby shot of the week. We're talking about Madeline Smith of Los Angeles. Does she get the rabies shot? No, she does not. It is Rochester's Christmas Station, so it's important for you to know that I'm not judging people in these rabies shots. I'm just noticing these things, okay? She works as a professional honey trapper. Charges 30 bucks to help someone find out if their sweetie pie is cheating on them. How she do that? Well, she has been a big fan of the TV show Cheaters for a very long time. And she decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to become the person that does that for a living. And she says she can really just tell based on the profile of the person bringing in, you know, this is my boyfriend, here's what he's like, etc. She knows how to work him. And always brings success, whether it is a cheater or not. And uh, I, I'm not giving her the rabies shot. No, she's got hustle, man. That's awesome. You find a way to make some money, you're making it, and you're having a good time doing it. And I suppose you're helping some people out. But you know what? If you, I, I, I hate to be harsh, 
But I'm giving a gentle rabies shot to the people that just don't break up with these bums. Come on. You don't need this person for the holidays. If you have this level of distrust, it's okay just to dump them. But they'll tell me I need a good reason. You don't. You don't need any reason other than I'm dumping you. No matter what they say, they're wrong. You don't need them in your life if you can't trust them, right? Exactly. So move along. Dump them already. And I, and I say I do it before Christmas because you know you're not going to get very good Christmas gifts and you're going to be disappointed and stuff like that. So better to be alone than not getting lied to than to be with someone that's just treating you like you don't exist. It is Y105 FM's early morning show. As the holidays approach, Y105... Hey, it's James Raby. Thank you so much for listening to the Y105 FM Early Morning Show Radio On Demand podcast. I hope you'll subscribe and tune in Monday through Friday between 6 and 10 for more fun than you can shake a stick at.